Good morning, evening, afternoon. This is Gamer Tia with Valheim Hearth and Home launch today. So, patch 0.202.14 Hearth and Home has been released about an hour and 15 minutes ago. General improvements include weapon balance. All weapons have been rebalanced to be more viable as a main weapon and also have more unique playstyles. Blocking system has been overhauled. The current maximum HP now greatly affects your ability to block attacks. Stagger bar, stagger bar GUI added. Nice. You can now name creatures. Um, you know, name tamed creatures, sorry. Gamepad sensitivity settings have been updated. Auto pickup toggle button has been added. Ooh. So for those of you guys that didn't want to pick up every single thing, you can now toggle that off. Uh, graphic settings. Do, do, do. Active point lights and active light point shadows. I don't know what that means, but that's okay. All right, tame creatures affected by friendly fire setting, a as in you can't hurt a tame creature unless you uh, enable friendly fire or use the new butcher knife. For us, it's just going to be using the butcher knife. Friendly fire is going to be off because we we have enough trees trying to murder us. We don't need our friends trying to murder us too. Uh, and various other improved bug fixes. Food in this update has been completely overhauled. Food rebalance. Most food items ha now give mainly stamina and or mainly health to food choices to make food choices more interesting. Food GUI overhaul has been worked with the rebalance of food. Over 10 new things to eat. And he's like, well, actually 12. Uh, world. Tamed loxes now have a purpose. Slimy locations and creatures added to planes. I don't know what that means. Alright, new plantable seeds. Birch, oak, and onions. Alright, so we have a new crop. And we can plant birch and oak. Because I know a lot of people wanted that for certain things. And was sad once it's gone because it can never be replanted. The fact that we now have that option, I'm pretty excited about that. Alright. New items, new weapons, crystal battle axe and the silver knife. New shields include the bone tower shield and the iron buckler. Butcher knife is a specialty weapon for butchering tamed animals. Thunderstone is sold by the trader. I don't know what that is. That's kind of nifty sounding. Thunderstone. Uh, and locks accessories. Hey, maybe you can ride your locks. I don't know. That's a myth. I don't know, guys. Calm down. All right. Building. New dark wood building pieces like shingle roofs, beams, decorations, and more. New types of furniture, including but not limited to the Mighty Stone Throne and a steamy Viking hot tub. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, crystal walls. New types of stacks to show off your treasure and resources. Cauldron improvements include a spice rack, butcher's tables, pots, and pans. So you have a few more ways to upgrade your cooking besides just uh, fire and some other things. So. So here we go, we got some stuff going. Cartography table for sharing map data with other players. Oven added for baking bread and pie. Ooh. Obliterator added so you can get rid of your items finally instead of just pitching them off a cliff and hoping they die. Uh, iron cooking station requires to cook and some types of meat. Required to cook some types of meat. Nice. I am pretty excited about this. Thumbs up. And yeah, so as much as I'd love to hang out here and talk with you guys all day, I'm actually going to go play the game. So this is Gamer Tia. Have a good day, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.